Greetings Jeepers. Welcome to uh, Let's Build a Willys Jeep. Today we're going to install this pedal shaft that's just a continuation of the work we were doing uh, in previous videos uh, with the uh, with the tube. So you'll see what we will do with this. So uh, here we go. So on this uh, shaft what you need to do is the, the long end here first. Uh, apply some grease Lithium base grease is what we got here. Um, and you don't have to go all the way up, but give it a good coating. You don't have to be too skimpy on this. It does take a lot of, a lot of action as you're driving. So now I'm underneath the uh, Jeep and I'm just looping up the hole where that uh, shaft is gonna go. So we had to uh, just uh, loosen the bolts on the master cylinder so we could flip this uh, this this plate down. And from underneath the Jeep, you insert it into the hole and just work it in very slowly so that you keep all the grease that you had applied mostly in there. Okay. Now when you have that lubricated, we're on to the next part of it. So next we want to uh, put this washer on from the uh, outside of the frame. And then there's this little half moon key. The uh, flat edge is facing upwards when you insert it into the, into the hole that it goes into and actually it slides in quite nicely. Once the wood rough key is installed onto your clutch pedal cross shaft, you can now install the clutch pedal shaft onto this cross member. And to do that, you just line up your clutch pedal shaft with that key that you inserted previously as a little notch on the pedal shaft that it'll just slide right into. And make sure you have the angle pointed this direction as I'm showing you right here with the angle point pointing towards the front of the Jeep. And after you slide that on, you put your last washer on and then your cotter pin, bend it both ways and that's finalized. And the last step is to insert a bolt through this hole on the clutch pedal shaft to secure everything in place. Put your bolt through the hole and put on a lock washer and a nut on the other end and tighten until hand tight. The bolt is fully tightened and this side of the install is complete. We're now on the other side of this shaft and you wanna make sure you have this tie rod all the way backed out first because this has to be installed onto this hole right here. First, you have to put a cotter pin in through this hole right in here. Like that, and now we'll have to put some grease on this sh shaft right here. First thing, put on the washer. The pedal slides on like this with this angle facing downward and then it just goes into this hole like that and then you put the tie bar on from that's connected to the brake master cylinder and just feed onto this hole. And then you put the cotter pin into this hole. that and now that will hold now we have to install the plunger onto the brake master cylinder from the other side put some grease on this hole right here and a little dab of grease on the end right here and this will go into the brake master cylinder right here and this end right here will go on to the pedal shaft it's kind of hard to show you so i'll just show you when it's finished 
here is the top view of your plunger rod that's set into your brake master cylinder right here. And it's just connected with a cotter pin onto the brake pedal arm. And I would first put your plunger into your brake master cylinder, push it all the way in, squeeze the rubber, that'll set the rubber, and then you put on the other end that just slides on to your brake pedal arm and just use a cotter pin and bend it both directions and that will be set. Finally, tighten up the two bolts on your tie bar right here and then make sure that you install your exhaust heat shield onto this bolt on your brake master cylinder and that's how you install your clutch and brake cross shaft. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.